Hey, welcome back. Uh, we're going to continue with our basic house here in SketchUp. Uh, so far, we've drawn our floor plan, right? And we've extended our walls up. We have our exterior walls and interior walls. Uh, but now we're going to uh, go over how to draw um, some rough openings so that we can place in uh, our doors and windows. The windows you'll notice aren't actually on the floor, but uh, they're still shown in the floor plan. So what that means is the floor plan is technically a section view chopping uh, through the house halfway through or window height through. So you can see where the openings are for windows and for doors. All right, so but we're gonna make some assumptions that uh, just make our lives easier here in SketchUp. And we're gonna say that exterior doors are 36 inches wide by six foot, eight inches tall. And interior uh, doors are still gonna be 32 inches wide. All right, exterior doors are wider uh, than interior doors, but they'll have the same height. And we'll say that the openings for windows are four foot by three foot, and the top of them will be the same as they are for the doors. All right, so looking at our actual drawing sheet here, our floor plan that we are working with, I'm gonna start by drawing the uh, rough openings for the front and back doors. I'm saying rough openings, technically drawing them to the actual size, but uh, normally speaking, you would do a rough opening because you're gonna have a door jam and all this other stuff on the outside. So the opening you would actually make is bigger than the size of the door. All right, but I'm gonna make this door uh, right down the center of the house, right? Because if we look at uh, the front of the house here with this view here, right? You see it's right in the middle and then two windows right to the side. So we'll start with that. Okay, so let's jump over to SketchUp. Let's do our views here. I'm going to make sure I'm looking straight on in the front, right? Make sure you're in the parallel one. And we're going to draw a rectangle on this face. So I'm going to go to rectangle tool and you'll know it's on face because look, it says on face. And what did I say it was? I'm going to pull up. I said that it was, which number is first? Height is first. So we said it was six feet, uh, eight inches, comma, and then we can just type in 36 for uh, the inches wide. Enter. So look, there's our door. All right, I'm gonna hit spacebar to get back to the normal mouse pointer. And I'm gonna go down here to this arrow here for move. So if I click move, you'll notice, right? I do have two different shapes. They should be doing the hatch mark in between. But if I click just the bottom, it's gonna do that. And that's obviously not what we want to do. So I'm back into the normal spacebar. I'm gonna click on each line of this one, holding shift, right? When you'll see next to the, the mouse pointer now, we have a plus sign and minus sign. So everything we click will be adding to it. So I'm getting the full rectangle that we have. Now I'm gonna do move. And I'm gonna choose the midpoint. And I'm gonna mouse over until I get midpoint here, right? Make sure it's on edge and snap to midpoint, right? I'll zoom in a touch here. Space bar to get back. And you'll notice now when I go to press pull, if I mouse over the side, it won't include the door. I mouse over the inside, Beautiful doorway. I'm gonna orbit a touch just so you can see what you're doing. And look, if I go pull into the house, it says all set limited to six inches. That's because that's the thickness of our wall here. So I'm just gonna click and look at that. We have our door opening here and you'll notice, right, holding shift, mouse wheel panning. We have this area right here. We did this before when we placed this wall, we gave ourselves four inch, extra inches. Beautiful. All right, space bar, front of the house. It looks like there's nothing there, that's fine. But now look, I can go now to the back of the house and we can do the exact same thing. Rectangle, pull up. We could have done copy and paste, but since I already press pulled it, we don't have anything to copy and paste. Uh, height is first, six foot, eight inches, comma, 36. Enter, space bar, click, hold shift, click, click, click move midpoint down right until we get the midpoint there click spacebar orbit a touch just so we can see that we're doing this right make sure we're only click on the inside all set limited perfect look at that all right we now have our rough openings our openings for our doors and windows i'm actually i'm over here i have the eyeglasses open i'm going to turn off my axes just because i don't want to see them right now all right so next is we're going to add a door from the 3d warehouse Adding a door from the 3D warehouse, these three uh, cubes stacked on top of each other. Search, I'm gonna search for front door, enter. 
uh, products or models will work probably even collections yeah these are from different uh, companies like you could do something like this and pick any door you want a little red door yeah I'm gonna choose the red door choose whatever one you want place it you should have the move command still out I'm gonna zoom in I'm gonna make sure I'm clicking on my corner here Ooh, pan remember hold shift while clicking on the mouse wheel and then clicking on my corner there beautiful but you'll notice my door is too tall I also don't have a door knob oh, wait it's in there interesting so I should probably rotate this door hold on let's do that first All right again you pick any door you want this door is placed here this is the rotate rotate is sometimes funny so rotate though to rotate though make sure you're looking down the object right and now if I just click keep in line with the plane and then orbit around click in line with the plane see how I'm on the plane lines it's saying give me the axes so I've orbited my door I'm now facing uh, the side I want to be space for getting back to normal do the move command now let's go back to moving our door it looks like I'm going to choose this back corner now which is actually this interior corner click it wow beautiful look at that door inlaid in there but we do need to scale it down right so scale is also under move it's this bottom one scale I have that one still highlighted is it gonna let me click on some green squares there's a green square right and then click down and then click to the door right what happened there is I clicked on the green square which is part of the door and I scaled it down to the door frame it snapped to the opening I made so now my door if I look at my front view is perfect right click away door in wall amazing you guys can do the same thing for the back door I'm not gonna spend the whole time in this video doing every single opening here I will show you a couple more on the inside and this window over here so how do I want to do this window well if I look at my floor plan here this window up front appears to be centered in this bedroom right with the closet space here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, get a full length here I'll draw a line and then I'll have a midpoint of where to place my window knowing where to place my window though is going to be at the height of the door uh, same heights right so the window plane the top of the window will be at the same as the top of the door so we know that that is whoops that's the wrong button that's the right one uh, the top of our window is going to be placed at six foot eight and we're gonna have spaces over but it's gonna be tough figuring all that out when I'm looking at the outside of this door so here's something that's going to be very helpful that you should be using for most of these on the inside is adding a section view or a section plane. All right, so if I go over where there's this one here, the measuring one, and this right here, look at this guy, section plane, click on that. Now, you'll notice here, it's on this plane, it's on the axes, but the way to be ensure that is again, as usual, click on your view, and I'm going to click this here. And look at that I'm now going to have a section plane cutting through the object I'm hitting spacebar I'm going to my move command and look at that I'm starting to chop the house in line can I flip this easily yeah reverse it I want to go that way look at what I just did so now I can see the inside of the house if your section plane is not activated it's not like giving you uh, the section view make sure it's checked off over here right this will actually show the plane, but if you don't have that checked off, it won't actually show you the section cut. Oftentimes you have to double click on this and activate it. It sometimes becomes a hassle, but I now can see inside the house. So now if I go to my back view over here, looking straight on, I now can place that window centered in here without messing with any of the other walls and stuff. I can always just delete this section plane, but we are first gonna draw a line. Uh, up six foot eight or can I do the mouse point like that mm, no extension lines I'm gonna draw a line six foot eight right six foot eight inches up enter I should get a line that looks right around there this is where my top of my window is gonna go and now I have a length of line so I now where know where a midpoint is so when I place my window it's gonna go right there now I space bar back I believe I said I believe I said our windows are going to be a uh, four foot three or a regular single window sorry so a double window like uh, the window we have over here is going to be four foot six right three foot wide so we're gonna make this window four foot six 
So window, I'm gonna place it here. I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna do the six feet first, six feet, comma, four feet, enter, space bar, move. Wait, space bar, I first gotta choose all my sides, hold shift, 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 shift. All right, now I can do move. From midpoint to on edge, on edge. Where's my midpoint? Let me place it over here real quick. Looks like I was over, oh, I whiffed completely. Midpoint to, there it is, midpoint. So now spacebar, press pull, this guy, orbit a touch, in. Looks like it didn't go through all the way. Spacebar, if you just click on that face now, hit delete. Oh, it looks like I made a shell. Control Z. Control Z, let's erase these edges here. And now press pull it. There you go. Oftentimes the press pull will be funny like that, but it's uh, just clean it up on the edges so it knows exactly what the shape it is that you want to press pull. But now I have an opening for my window. All right, so this window, same thing. I go into here, I'm going to type in window, window down. Window, and we want something that's double wide, something like this. Um, but you can put whatever you want. You even can put two right next to each other. I'm just to speed up this process. Let's, let's just double check models, make sure we don't find something purdy. Ooh, that's kind of purdy. I like this one. Really purdy. All right, place it. Look at that. We're going to have to do a rotate again. I'm looking down the top view, shifting over. Clicking here, make sure it wasn't in my section plane. Let's do that rotate again. Clicking, clacking, clicking, right? Remember, I made sure I was on my axes when I did all that, spacebar, so now I have a window. Now I'm going to go to move. I'm gonna choose the front corner. I'm gonna place it there. I'm going to go into scale. I'm gonna scale this guy here to zoom in. Orbit a touch. There it is, making sure I'm on the face of where I want to be, on edge. Let's pan this over, you see what I'm doing. Drag this guy down. Does that look funny? Yeah, it does. Am I okay with it? Yeah, I am. Front window placed. All right, you can do the same thing on the other side, copy and paste. If you want to figure out your distance so that's still centered on your front uh, face here, right? Measure this distance, we can go into measure. I can measure from this corner to there is two foot one and three quarter inches. You can draw a line out two foot three, uh, one and three quarter inches, put your box, that kind of thing. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's turn off our section cut real quick. And interior doors, I said were 32 inches wide, right, 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 32 inches wide. Uh, the only other thing I want to show you, since everything else you should be able to get, uh, closet doors, do what you need to do for that, right? Those are double wide back here, these closet doors. So if it's 32 inches, go ahead and make them double. Uh, pay attention to the swing. Remember, all these door jams here are four inches. Mm, the only other one I want to show you is this opening here. We'll do a funny shape. All right, so that opening, we're going to make another section view. I should sit upright when I'm talking. Uh, let's do another section view, right? So <clears throat> here, section, place it now this time on this wall. Go back to the move, move this guy in. And I'm gonna go actually through here to here and I'm gonna right click and reverse it because I actually wanna do a section through here, right? I wanna see the space in the opening in here. So I'm gonna do my side view here. I'm gonna click away, I'm gonna click away, and we're gonna draw a lovely shape here. So we could just do an arc, uh, a straight line across and have this whole area open, but that's not what I wanna do. What do I wanna do? What is the full length here across? Measure, measure, eight foot three inches. Um, so let's make our opening, if it's eight foot three inches, let's make a six foot opening. All right, so space bar, square, I'm going to do six foot by, I'm going to draw it here. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go six foot by a touch. 
more than six feet. <laughs> so six foot, comma, um, 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 decisions. You can again make it whatever you want. I'm gonna make it a square. Is this gonna work? Yeah, it's gonna work. It's gonna be exactly what I want. Again, you can do whatever you want here. I'm just showing you an example of what I feel like doing at this moment in time, All right? You can, again, make a line straight across. You should do the line at um, eight foot because eight foot is your normal ceiling height in these areas. When we're uh, looking at our actual floor plan here, you'll see that this has vaulted ceilings over here. So we're not gonna put ceilings uh, over here. Well, this one says 10 foot ceiling heights, but over in your regular bedroom, oh, they give us 10 feet, look at that. Uh, we can put 10 foot ceilings in those rooms, fine, but standard uh, ceiling height is eight foot. Uh, for this opening here that we're drawing in this hallway, uh, we're going to make that opening wrong button. We're going to make that opening. I already forgot six foot, but I'm going to put an arc here. So watch what I do. I'm going to do move. I'm going to do midpoint. I'm going to do midpoint. So now it's centered, but I'm going to draw a lovely arc. Is that an arc? End point, end point. Uh, oh, whoa. Not the type of arc I want. Let's hit escape. Let's hit space bar. I thought this is the arc I wanted. Maybe it's not. Midpoint, here, wee, to here. It's too high up. Oh, but this is vaulted ceilings, 10 foot ceilings. Still too high. This is not the type of arc I want. Let's go to this one. One, two, yeah, this is the arc I wanted. Uh, how high up do it? It says bulge in that bottom right. Uh, let's make it a, a one foot, 1 1.5 feet. 1.5 feet. Enter. Look at that, space bar. We can now erase that part, erase that space bar, click away, space bar. Oh my goodness, everything's highlighting. Eraser, there we go. Press pull, just this guy, orbit around, two face, enter, there we go. That's the opening I wanted in my area. You could curve that more, but that's what I want. I did it on purpose. Let's turn off our section planes again. Look at that, we have an opening in there, it's centered. You can go ahead and put the same 32 inch wide openings throughout your house. You can even move this dude inside so that he is out of the elements. Oh, or he can be half inside. Look at that. Perfect. All right. Uh, you should be able to figure everything else out. You can use whatever ones you want from the 3D warehouse. Uh, just be consistent with our size, our openings, and remember our ceiling height. Don't forget about that. All right, four foot jams between doors. Good luck, have fun.